Civilization is a vulnerable thing, a whim of circumstance. At any time, the smallest flap of a butterfly's wings may set catastrophe in motion. Haran, an entire city wiped from the map. Those left behind there did not stand a chance. The world's greatest minds came together and found a vaccine against the Haran virus. Finally, mankind had prevailed against the disease. But people always want more. Despite a promise to shutter its labs, the GRE continued its research in secrecy for military purposes. It didn't take long for a variant of THV to escape into the world once more. The fall happened more rapidly than anyone could have predicted. The few who survived now live in small enclaves the only means of contact between distant human settlements are lone individuals, brave or desperate enough to travel on their own across dangerous wastelands. They are known as pilgrims. Somewhere on the map, one city is still standing. A city isolated from the outside world. A city with special rules. Now, it's the last bastion of humanity. A chance for us to learn from history. And for once, make the right choices. Because every choice you make here shapes the future. Irreversibly. Weapon you got there, Aiden? Is it new? Seriously, there's no time for delay. Well? Well? What did you find? I know the location, but I was told your brother asked about it already. Herman! See if Barney turned on his radio. Barney, answer me. Barney! Damn. So that's why he's gone offline. He's looking for the crystals on his own. And throwing a wrench in the works yet again. This isn't the first time, I gather. No. He's always trying to prove himself. Last time, he got wounded. Wasn't that long ago, either. A fucking kid. I'll kill him. I'll just kill him.
Why blame yourself? We all make our own beds. Listen, you said it yourself. You're new here, so you don't know much. I'm responsible for security here, and he's my brother. I promised I'd look after him. You promised? Promised who? Never mind. I'll kick Barney's ass when he gets back. How'd Barney get wounded? He didn't want to tell me. My guess is that the PK's got a hold of him. Your brother keeps secrets from you? That's none of your business. Barney, answer me! Damn it all to hell! If he went to a dark zone in his condition, he's a goner. I can try to track him down. <laughs> you? I've been in the dark zone before. In the GRE hospital. St. Joseph Hospital? Really? If you save him, you won't regret it. We still have some time. Barney will likely wait till dusk. Going into a dark zone during the day is suicide. Just bring him back home safe. I'll do my best. Good luck. must be crazy. He's wounded after all. Thank <laughs> you. 
a safe place to crash by the windmill now.
one place. God damn, it was worth it. Your barn died. Found a few little things. Sophie, I'm inside. There's no sign of Barney yet. You have to find him. He has to be in there somewhere. I'm looking. Hurry.
Sophie. Zayden. I found a radio. And a body. Male. White, bald man. I'm sorry, Sophie. That's not Barney. That's Kojak. One of ours. Barney can't be far. Sophie, I found blood. It's fresh. Hurry, Aiden. supposed to do. Barney? Are you? Who the fuck are you? A Sophie sent me. Yeah, right. And I'm a PK general. Whoever you are, fuck off! These are our crystals. You get it? You want to get Barney, open up. Fuck off. Sophie, I found Barney, but he's locked himself in a room. He's alive. Good. Stubborn fucker. Just try and talk to him. I'll try. Barney! Go back to where you came from! Whatever you're trying to prove, you don't sound so tough to me. Hey, you sound like one of those little yappy dogs. Get lost and let me do what I need to do. Barney, I'll count to three. One, two. Three. Go the fuck away! You ain't getting a thing from me! Fuck! Shit! Great.
for some air. Your sister mentioned you're stubborn. She didn't say you were an idiot. Hey, I should beat you down for that. Here, take your radio. We're leaving. No, Bertie. We gotta find Bertie. Who? He lured away the infected when they were about to get me down there. If not for him, I'd have ended up like Kojak. You're in no condition to look for anyone. He's just a kid, man. I promised his old lady I'd bring him back, understand? He drew those bastards to himself, you get it? So I could grab the crystals for the bazaar. I have to find him. You're in no condition to search for anyone, Barney. I'm not going back without him. Listen, I don't give a shit about you and your friends. But I promised Sophie I'd get you home. No, no, no. No one left behind. I gave my fucking word. You get it? You know what that even means? What's up? Your brother really wants to die here. I won't leave without Bertie and the crystal, Sophie. I have to get them. You know how much depends on that. Fuck. Barney! This is the last time you do things your way. Can you help him, Aiden? Okay. Right, where can I find Bertie? He was on the ground floor when those assholes surrounded me. They ran out after him through the side door. Okay, you stay here and wait for my signal. I'll find your friend and then come back for you, got it? Hurry! Blood must be birdies. Trash should lead me to him. Yeah! <laughs> 
Ran to the truck. Maybe he made it. Yet, but he was bleeding. I wasn't going down without a fight. Infected already. <coughs> I wonder who will beat that. <coughs> who are you? A maiden. Can you move? Barney sent me. Barney? <coughs> of course. Good old Barney. <coughs> He made it out, right? He got the crystals? Yeah, he did. Well, thanks to you, kid. <clears throat> I pulled it off. <clears throat> Killed three infected. Did you see? Well, two were wounded already, but... <clears throat> Listen. <clears throat> it's my birthday today. Uh, and... Can I ask a favor? You see... <clears throat> Over there, my radio. I have to call someone. Here, but we gotta hurry. Of course, of course. I just gotta, hello? Mom. <coughs> you there? Mom? Nathan, is that you? What happened, where are you? It's all good, Mom. We're almost, Barney and me are just finishing up here. Barney? He promised me that he'd keep you safe! Don't freak out, Mom. Listen, we got him. The crystals. We got him. And I killed three. Three infected. I beat them, Mom. We really need to get going. Then get the hell out and get back here safe! Barney promised! Sure. Soon. We'll be back soon, Mom. trying to reach your brother. Barney's here already. Just arrived. He... what? He was supposed to... I didn't trust you. He thought you wanted to take the crystals. But he sent me to check on his friend so he could sneak away? It's not like that. Come back to the bazaar. I'll explain everything. <laughs>
God damn it. Your party got himself into trouble. Again. That doesn't seem likely. Why not? Anyone can piss anyone else off, you know. Someone bought your job so badly in my life. I thought I could trust them. Can you hear yourself at all? M may maybe there's a way to fix this. You can fix it by figuring out how you're gonna pay me back and quick. Sometimes I wake up at night and forget the fall even happened. That's about the only time I smile. But then I see the goddamn UV lights. Sometimes I wake up at night and forget the fall even happened. That's about the only time I smile. And then I see the goddamn UV lights. Fuck me, people will always complain. Things are better for us now, right? Depends, doesn't it? Veronica, the guy was a prick. The PK were a pain in the ass with him in charge. Conclusion's pretty straightforward. Lucas is gone. Things are better for us. Amen. It'd be better if you just shut up, Barney. Where's Sophie? You again? What are you doing? Spying on me? Something to hide? You were talking about the PK commander, weren't you? Look at Mr. Nosy here. Watch where you stick that nose, Pilgrim, or you'll lose it. That fucker with Lucas deserved to die. That's the truth. Barney, the truth is this. You're an idiot, and the peacekeepers protect us. Protect? From what? Who took over our windmill? The peacekeepers. Who took over the metro? Fucking Lucas. So they should get the fuck out before they all end up like their motherfucking commander. Wait for me. Suppose schmozed. Plans changed. Afraid I was after your crystals, huh? Afraid? Of you? Give me a break. We've got our own interests to look after, Pilgrim, and they're none of your business. Two of your men died for your interests. You used Birdie to distract me, that it? You don't know shit about me and my people, jackass. Birdie was like a brother to me. For some reason, my sister wants to see you, so go bother her. Pilgrim.
Seriously, there's no time for delay. Been planting pumpkins for years, and they have been doing just fine. We have to kill them, Carl. They used to be family. We must negotiate. You don't negotiate with extortionists. You're nothing like your mother. Besides, I'm in charge here. Prepare your men. And we're giving Joe those goddamn crystals. Fucking coward. I know what you think. But we have to listen to him, Herman. As for the bazaar. Only for the bazaar. Sophie. Relax, Herman. He saved Barney, remember? Interesting guy, your little brother. You two didn't get along, I take it. Let's just say it wasn't love at first sight. Barney has his downsides. But on the upside, he is unshakably loyal. And with so many problems plaguing old Villador, I just need people I can trust. What are your problems? You're the curious sort, aren't you, Aiden? Just ask. What do you want to know? Why did Barney bail on me? Crystals are valuable. We needed them for a transaction. And now, you'll be able to help. Like I did with Barney and Birdie? It didn't feel like much of a help. Barney was in shock when he heard about Birdie. That's why he bailed on you. He... He wants what's best for the bazaar, Aiden. He thinks he'll protect us all. He's really just a kid. He was just a teenager when our mother died. But even earlier, when he was little, we were always on our own. Now he's an adult and he doesn't need anyone. But he hurts himself the more he tries to help others. It seems after the commander was murdered, things got complicated between you and the peacekeepers. Oh, that's an understatement. To be more precise, our situation got fucked up. But Lucas, he deserved to die. Since the plague, nothing has hurt the locals like him. It was on his order that the peacekeepers seized our windmill to support themselves. They take a large part of our crops and water. In return for what? Protection? I can protect my people myself. I started learning that when I was a kid. That spat with Carl. What was that about? Let's just say the PK commander's death only made our problems worse. Look around, Aiden. What do you see? Something people outside the walls could only dream of. All these people will be dead by the end of the month. Why? Because in short order, our water supplies will run dry. Two weeks ago, a local thug named Joe and his pal Jack took over the only water tower in the area with their gang. Not long ago, they lived in the bazaar. But Carl threw them out for pulling scams. And now they're taking their revenge. They mined the tower and they're threatening to blow it up if they don't get a weekly tribute in the form of medicines, food, and crystals. And all these people, don't they know anything? Not how low the water reserves have gotten. I was gonna handle it, but Carl was afraid of causing a panic. Instead, he went to the PK for help. Of course he came back empty-handed. They're only here to help themselves, certainly not us. They could care less that Joe took the tower and demanded protection money. My mother used to say, never bargain with extortionists, when she was still in charge here. Wait, so before Carl took power, you... She led the bazaar with an iron fist, and Carl listened to her. After her death, he became full of himself, and he got cocky. Well, didn't your mother want you to succeed her? I know what she wanted for her people. Community and freedom. That's what she always said. But don't ask me what she wanted for me. I don't know if I even existed for her at all. She was a great leader, but a shitty mom. What are you gonna do? What I have to do. I promise to help Carl. So while he's in charge, we're gonna pay off Jack and Joe. And they're gonna keep squeezing more and more out of us. And so on and so on. The most important thing is for my people to be safe. You've proven that you can be trusted. 
I want to ask you for help. Carl believes Joe will live up to his side of the bargain and that he'll give us access to water. But I'm skeptical. I have to send people to negotiate with bandits and I don't want any surprises. Carl and our people have already set out for the spot where the deal will go down. Make sure everything goes smoothly. So I should guard them? Yes. From a discreet distance. Don't look at me like that. I'm just giving you information. And just between us, you won't regret it. I wonder what the hell is going on in the central loop since PK's restricted access. Some say the renegades are about to attack. Uh, look who's here. Welcome to the bazaar, pilgrim. Aiden, you've traveled through the Outlands. Any other cities still standing? Please, back off. You're making me uncomfortable. Aiden? Something's up. Susie? You there? Sophie! We're under attack! What? Susie? What's going on? It was a trap! Run! Fuck! Susie? Ralph? Ah! 
See bandits. Oh, and a lot of bodies. Sophie, I'm sorry. I knew it. I knew those motherfuckers would betray us. Fuck them, Aiden. Kill them all. survivors.
Susie? Carl. They, they took Carl. What? Where? <sighs> to their camp. We, we must... Susie? Susie, where are the crystals? Susie? Sophie, I found Susie. She's dead. I can't believe it. First Birdie, now her. Damn. Damn. Damn! There's nothing you could have done. No. Except that I sent them there. Joe's men have kidnapped Carl. And I don't see these crystals. <laughs> Fuck! Goon! Huge, ugly motherfucker! He's slow. Just be careful. Search the other bodies, Aiden. Maybe the crystals are still there. Yeah. <laughs> 
Sophie, everything's been taken. Probably took him before you got there. Everything has gone wrong. All right, enough of this playing defense. Let's meet by Jack and Joe's camp on the roof by the overpass. We're gonna go after Carl and our crystals. Jack and Joe will pay for this shit show. How's it going? You alive, man? Fuck. I'm getting sentimental. I haven't said that to anyone since my third divorce. I appreciate it, but don't get your hopes up. Not the marrying kind. Learn anything about the commander's murder? I heard Sophie's brother mention something about Lucas's death. That's all so far. Now they have a bigger problem. The bandits you mentioned? They took Carl hostage. Oh, shit. Yeah, exactly. I'm helping Sophie get him back. Gain her trust. That might also help us find out what they know. Just watch out. They might be suspicious. But if you can do it, Ator will let us into the center. Man, I'm so thirsty. Word on the rooftops is we're going up against the bandits. You coming with us, Pilgrim? This is what happens when you bargain with bandits. Didn't we tell you not to give your trust like penny candy? Where's Sophie? Hey, why were you on the mission? Friends could have used you. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that means I should wait here.
Jack and fucking Joe will pay for what they did. I had a bad feeling about it from the start. I had a feeling Carl's plan sucked. And yet I let him lead. You think Jack and Joe could have had something to do with Lucas's murder? Joe, perhaps. He's a total psycho, and a thief. He knew the peacekeepers would hang him if they caught him. But Jack wouldn't let him. He's a coward. He thinks rationally. Don't beat yourself up. Things could have been worse, too. If I had listened to myself, we'd have water, and more of our people would still be alive. You were just doing your job. You were following Carl's lead. Yeah, but I won't let him lead the bazaar to its doom. I see. Why didn't you send Herman on the mission? They wouldn't have stood a chance against that beast. Him? He's strong, but as helpless as a child. He's one damn big child. You don't understand. Herman's almost deaf. He used to be my mother's bodyguard. He's been around us as long as I can remember. And after she died, he stayed close to us. One time, the lights in my shelter went out. The infected broke through a window. Herman blocked the path and tossed a grenade into a nearby infected. He survived the explosion, but lost his hearing. In a face-to-face -face battle, he's nearly unbeatable. But if he's caught from behind, he's as vulnerable as a child. A killer combination, especially for him. That's why I prefer to keep an eye on him. Sometimes I wonder if he's watching over me, or I'm watching over him. All right, so what's the plan now? From now on, I'm following my gut. Last time something like this happens on my watch. If you'd hurried back there, maybe some of our guys would have made it. I thought a pilgrim like you was supposed to run like a fucking gazelle. Barney, shut up! What? If he'd have made it in time to help, we'd be having a party. Not a wake. In case you change your mind. He can be a real pain in the ass. But we'll do something good for the city one day. Bertie, to your help! I gather you were close with Bertie. He tried to be a poet, kept showing me his work and said all the other guys were too stupid to understand. I never told him how bad it was. He was a good kid. I took him into the group when he lost his father in a dark zone. He was 10 years old. That's pretty young. Too young, but he had no one else. So I took him in. If you manage to take out those bandits, it... Jack Cock and Joe Cunt. You think killing Messrs. Cock and Cunt will change something? Death usually changes a lot in a person's life. Carl was wrong. We should have gone after them right away. But right or wrong, we have to help him. He's one of us. We'll rescue him and retrieve the crystals from Jack and Joe. Besides, I won't let them get away with killing my people. Ralph, Susie, Logan, Birdie... They deserve revenge, and Jack and Joe sentenced them to death. So they'll die. Your radio. Yeah, it picks up static sometimes. Go see Alberto. He can fix stuff like that on the spot. Thanks. Hey, Tor here. Leave, but make sure no one sees you. You two make a pretty pair, Aiden. I'm on the roof nearby. We have to talk. Now. It's about saving your life. I'll tear them apart. I swear, I'll gut them. Real slow. Piece by piece. To Ralph, Susie, and Birdie. To our crew.
just gonna stand there <laughs> what do you want I don't like what's going on here Aiden first Jack and Joe's bandits killed Carl's people now Sophie's getting ready to retaliate you're not a part of that are you but you said you wanted me to get close to them I'm gonna search Sophie's camp that's why I came to warn you rumors have started you found the Lazarus for me they may suspect you of being a PK spy It doesn't seem like it. They seem happy to take whatever help is offered. So they say. But those people hate us, Aiden. Along with anyone who works with us. So if they do suspect, especially someone like Sophie... I can handle them. Lucas thought so too, and look how he ended up. Be a pity if I found you in a ditch somewhere, with a piece of your hide cut out. You came here just to warn me? You help me with the Lazarus, and I take care of my allies. Sophie's just fighting for water, that's all. I don't think she suspects anything. <laughs> you think so? She hates the peacekeepers. She blames us for not helping the bazaar, and for her mother's death. So when we start questioning her people, you better be careful. Thanks for the warning. You gain any intel for our investigation? Sophie's also wondering who killed Lucas. What else would she say? They know if we can prove they killed Lucas, it'll be a bloodbath. Find out from Sophie when she's planning the attack. Keep me informed where you are. Be careful. Go help Sophie, but be careful, Aiden. Take care of yourself, Pilgrim.
Inhibitor container detected. Go help something, but be careful, Hayden. Take care of yourself, Pilgrim. Well, it looks like Sophie's not here. I, I, I better look must, for her. Must be. Dad, it's still early. I'm looking for Sophie. Where'd she go? Said she had important business to attend to. But you can wait here with us. If you came to find out if I have a boyfriend, I don't. Which doesn't mean you have the slightest chance with me. Because you don't. If you think I was interested in whether you have a boyfriend, I wasn't. Which doesn't mean if you change your mind about my chances, I'll change my mind too. Fine. What brings you? Did you take care of Barney today? That guy is like a neon sign that reads Big Trouble. Right. Me hey, have you seen Sophie? I'm, I'm looking for her. Oh, it's our brave fucking pilgrim. Been looking for you. Drink up. Cheers. Sorry, but I don't like drinking straight from the bottle. Ooh, the exalted count asks for a glass. Hey, did you get your radio checked by that dumbass Alberto? <laughs> that kook. Can't ever finish a sentence he starts. <laughs> Must have a brain made of Swiss cheese. Show some respect, Humphrey. Alberto's a genius with weapons and armor. What's your big skill? Farting into a harmonica and calling him music? Hey, you mangy pricks! Say your prayers. Barney's coming! And he's gonna kick your dairy ears! Rip out your brains, then your hearts. Uh, uh, Humphrey, uh, that's what murderers get. Good, that's what murderers get. Humphrey, you're a goddamn poet. Sometimes you get it right. Hey, you mangy pricks, <laughs> say your prayers. One thing. <laughs> I need and that one thing. Thing? What do you mean, Dad? Hey, have you seen Sophie? Sophie? Uh, yes, she went. She said, the, uh. She went that way. Exactly. Thanks. Wait! There's more. One more thing. Something's wrong with. Uh, not working with the... It's broken that... Uh, oh. 
Dad's asking if there's something wrong with your radio. Oh, uh, it hisses sometimes, but as long as it works, no point messing with it. Um, can I ask you a question? Sure. Call me Aiden. Vincenzo. Uh, Aiden? How do you become a pilgrim? Does that mean you're a murderer? Vincenzo! Why... What do you... Why would you... Dad, I'm asking because I'm curious. Will you tell me, Aiden? I'm not that exciting. I've had to kill people, but I'm not a murderer. All being a pilgrim is to me now is a means to an end. To what end? Vincenzo, leave him alone! To find the only family I've ever known. Did you? Not yet, but I might be close. I hope you succeed. I've never found Federico. Who? Federico. He was my best friend. We were like brothers. We'd known each other forever. He disappeared like the other kids. Because of those fucking tests. Tests? You mean GRE tests? You heard that when they built the walls, they were trying to create a vaccine here? It all fell apart in a couple of weeks. One day, Federico vanished into thin air. We'd been playing football. I went to my house after that, he went home too, and I never saw him again. I'm sure they took him. And that's not all. You see, he wasn't the only child who went missing that winter. There were others? Two girls disappeared from the building next door at the same time. And more, all across the city. And none of them have ever been found? No, but... Based on what Federico's mother said, I have a feeling I know what happened. Federico had been in the hospital a month earlier with pneumonia. His mother was told that some GRE doctor had ordered blood tests, but they wouldn't tell her why. A week after he was released from the hospital, he was gone. Do you remember this doctor's name? No one knew, and no one at the hospital would say only that he was on classified GRE business. Then, everything went to hell. The GRE collapsed. After that, some of the kids were sighted in the central loop. But, not Federico. Every day, I wonder what happened to him. I hope he's alive, and that you find him someday. Here. How's your radio? Working now? Sometimes it works. Sometimes, no. Roll the dice. Susie, Logan, I swear I'll tear them apart and eat the pieces! <coughs> Bertie! Ralph! To your hell! I love you. What now? Do you remember the beginning of the fall, Aiden? <laughs> Vaguely. I remember it as if it were yesterday. We'd been defending the church against infected for some time. My mother was in charge. She was losing dozens of people every day. She was keeping everyone alive while I was keeping an eye on Barney. She begged the peacekeepers for help. But they ignored her. Eventually, she was injured. It was dawn. And he led me to her, to the roof of the sacristy. She 
she saw me and made me promise to look after my brother. <laughs> she said it as if she was lending me a car and asking me to have it returned intact. After that, she appointed Carl as her successor, with me at his side. You'll grow up to be a far better leader than Carl, she said. But while the world is burning, people won't listen to someone so young. She was wrong. I've been thinking like that all my life. But not anymore. Now I understand my mother. You have to be ruthless to be a leader. I wasn't ready then. I am now. I think I know what you're talking about. And I know what loss is like. Talking about someone in particular? Um... My stories aren't important right now. Uh, I understand. I don't tell mine, you won't tell yours. Okay? It's not like that. It isn't? Yeah, mine's an old story. It still has more questions without answers. Is that why you became a pilgrim? To find those answers? Because you sure don't look like a criminal. At least not to me. Yeah, well, that's because you don't know me. Sophie, we have to talk. Time to act. The quicker we do this, the less prepared Jack and Joe will be. Aiden. Aiden. And we started on the wrong foot. A sip of courage. Should you be drinking this much before the mission, Barney? Me? <laughs> I got the toughest liver in Philidor. Worry more about yourself, Pilgrim. Where's Sophie? There. On the rooftop. I'm watching you, Pilgrim.
interest. Apparently the peacekeepers are watching us. Well, let them see what happens to Jack and Joe, and that we can do it to them too. <sighs> well, you said it was time to act. We're acting. I sent three scouts towards the camp. Carl and the crystals must be somewhere inside the building. Most are probably asleep. There are a few entrances to the camp. The front one, suicide. It's got the most guards. You go in first, we'll move in from the other side. And then we'll catch them in a pincer movement. If anything goes wrong, we retreat to our base. Where? The Tango Motel. 